everyone, it's Jolie. Um, today we're just going to do a really simple sign. Um, it's going to say family. Um, we went ahead and cut our letters out of um, four inch. We just traced some stencils. You can freehand them if you want to. And um, then we took them and we took a ball peen hammer and from behind we hit them um, just to get some like uh, raised, like the erase, raised effect on them. Um, give them a little bit of a like a textured look and um, we're just going to go ahead and put them on this board it's about uh, 21 inches long and um, Kevin went ahead and sprayed this um, chicken wire for me black we were trying to decide do they look better on the outside or underneath but I've never seen them underneath of the chicken wire so I think that's what we're going to do just going to do something a little bit different here and then um, we just cut these um, boards. They're like eh, one and a half inches wide. And um, obviously we're going to cut them off to length. But um, we're just going to make like kind of like a frame out of it. And um, that's, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Um, here's a better look at the uh, letters that we did. Um, like I said, they're four inch. And we... Um, took a piece of just an old piece of scrap wood and took our ball peen hammer and we laid them down and then just hit it with the ball peen hammer and on the front it got this um, raised effect on it um, okay I just went ahead and sanded over my piece of wood another thing with sanding it it helps get a lot of the um, dirt off of it this is just an old piece of pallet wood and um, I definitely like the the cracks and um, things in it but I noticed when I was sanding that this piece is pretty loose I'm afraid it's going to break off so we're just going to go ahead and put a nail in it um, not that we minded having some cracks in it which we don't Just thought we'd give it a little quick fix. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to um, take a little bit of white paint with mixed with some water and do like a white wash and go over this real lightly just to bring out the letters um, that we're going to put on top of it and the chicken wire. I think it'll help it stand out a little bit. Okay. All right, um, we just took some white paint and um, mixed some water in it to thin it out. I'm just going to go over this. Do like a quick white wash over it um, and then I don't know if I'll sand any of it off or not I'll just have to see what it looks like when I'm finished I can guarantee you're gonna be sanded yeah it's, uh, I thought it would have went on a little differently but it's not it's still as not quite as thick as paint, but maybe once it soaks in, it'll look a little different and dry, as you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, as you can see, um, I put a little bit of the white uh, paint thinned down with water, and it, it don't look too bad. It almost looks like a gray, like a um, weathered look to it. Um, but what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go ahead and um, go over it with a little bit of sandpaper and see if I can... Do a little something different with it here. Okay, we, um, I have my um, letters, I think where I want them here. I'm just, we went ahead and drilled some little holes in here and I'm gonna go ahead and nail these on just with some real small nails. Okay, as you can see, we got our letters stapled on here and now we're getting ready to attach the chicken wire. What we're gonna do is, um, we're just going to take our staple gun and Show them over there where we did yeah a we put a couple staples in right here and you're not going to see these because there's going to be a frame that goes around it so this is what we're going to use to hold the chicken wire on and if your staple doesn't go in all the way um put it in the middle there you go like i have a hard time getting the staples in all the way so what, what I do is I just take the hammer and uh, pound it down like that there you go so just gonna finish this up okay 
We got the um, chicken wire all stapled on. As you can see, we just put the staples in there and impounded them with the hammer. And I'm um, going to go ahead and get some kind of frame put around this thing. This is the wood that we're going to use to make our frame. It's just pallet wood cut into like, um, I don't know, what is that, one inch? Inch and a half. Inch and a half. Stress. Just took them on the table saw yeah. and run them down an inch and a half. So we're going to go ahead and get a frame built out of this. And mind you guys, when I'm doing this, I, I don't want the good side that I cut out. I'm going to use the old rough looking side, the one that just don't look very good. That's the piece I want out. We got our framework all done. We just did 45 so on the corners and um, right now just get ready to nail them together. finished. I think it turned out pretty cute. What I'm going to do now is I'm um, going to go ahead and put a clear coat over it and then it'll be all done. Well, I'm attempting to put some clear coat over this, but it's probably going to take me a little while because uh, going over the chicken wire is not so easy, but I think if I just dab it like this, it's not too bad. I just don't want to get like... Gobs in Yeah, a big bunch of gobs of it in here, but... We probably could have cleared that before we put the chicken Yeah, on. that probably would have been a smart thing to do. <laughs> but it'll dry clear and you won't really... You can't see it anyhow, right? Yeah, you won't see a big bunch of it. It'll just have a shiny effect to it. Okay, um, we got our sign done. Um, I hope, uh, hope everybody likes it. And I wanted to tell you all thanks for watching.